Okay, Google, what is your name? Did I forget to introduce myself? I'm your Google Assistant. Hi. Okay, Google, what's my name? Your name is Caroline. Okay, Google, is your refrigerator on? Oops, I must have left it plugged in. Hi everyone, my name is Caroline and welcome to my video about my AIY kit here. If you've been following me on YouTube for a while, last year I posted a video where we made a Google Home from a Raspberry Pi without the kit. So when it first came out, these kits were super hard to get and they were sold out everywhere. So I uh, looked up a couple different methods on how to accomplish this without the kit. Link to that below if you're interested in seeing that video. Now the kits are more widely available and I was able to purchase one. Uh, this is not a product endorsement. I did buy this with my own money and I just wanted to give you a couple tips and tricks about how to go about this project. So number one, I do like this project a lot. It is significantly easier than the ones I did previously. So I do recommend if you want to do the project, do it with the kit. The materials you'll need, you will need a Raspberry Pi. You will need the power source to your Raspberry Pi. You will need an eight gigabyte minimum micro SD card. And, the, and here's the other things you may not consider is you will need a tiny screwdriver because there are two screws, there are two wires that you will have to connect within this kit here and you will need some double st stick tape. I ended up using electrical tape because that's what I had on, on hand because that is how the microphone attaches to the top of the box here. Those are the things you'll need for this project. Those are kind of my tips about assembling it but I will link to a really great video below that's not mine that will show you how to assemble this. Next, there is a software part of the setup and you will need a mouse, a keyboard, and a monitor to do that step. And I will, once again, I found this really great video that I did not make that I will link to below that shows you step by step how to do the software setup part of it with a mouse and a keyboard. And a, and a monitor. So please follow that video. When you finish all of those steps, you'll get up to the point where you can start this Google Home either with a button or with your voice by saying the wake word by using your mouse and your keyboard and your, and your monitor to um, start a command to get it going. That's great, and if you get that far in the project, congratulations, you've done the project. What was important to me in doing this project was getting it to auto start without having to run a command every single time. So I just plug it in and it works. In order for me to do that, uh, there were some in new instructions posted on Google Forums. Now, I believe there's a new, fairly recent new um, image build of the software and I don't believe they've updated the instructions um, as of the making of this video. So somebody on the forums has posted uh, some new information and I have copied that information onto a GitHub page so I can refer to everything all at once and I will go through that part as a screen record in this video. And so I will link to my GitHub page below and I will go through how to get this to auto start. Here we are, uh, this is the desktop, and I've got the AIY projects with Google uh, pulled up here. So this video starts off after you've already assembled the voice kit, after you've already done the software portion of it. We've set up the device, and this video starts off at the end of using your device. In order for you to follow the steps in this video, you need to start your Google Home with this command right here. So I'm going to hit start dev terminal and I'm going to copy paste the the library demo app here and I'm going to run that command and now I can say okay Google are you online? I'm here. I'm always ready to help at a moment's notice. My AIY kit version of my Google Home is online right now and I'm gonna hit Control C to quit. Now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is getting it to auto start. I mean, this is great that you've got this far in the project, but every time you wanna start your AIY kit, you're gonna to have to um, get out a screen and run a command. I want it to auto start every single time. Now, what I did previously is I went through the, the tutorial here and it had how to run your app automatically. And I tried uh, these instructions. Now. There are, now what I did find is a set of mod slightly modified instructions that I'm gonna use for this project. So I'm gonna close out the, my start dev terminal and I'm gonna go to my GitHub page. I've, I've 
copied all of the instructions onto my GitHub page here. And first step is to open a terminal and I'm going to create the service file. So sudo nano copy paste and I'm going to copy and paste everything in included in this repository. Copy and and you see I've already done that right here. I'm going to control X to exit and yes I want to save and I'm going to hit enter to save the file. Now what I need to do is I need to copy the assistant demo to the the pi folder. So I'm going to hit copy here from my GitHub paste that's, that gets me into the right directory. If I do an ls right here, you can see I've got assistant library demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that file and the command, the Linux command is cp for copy. And I'm going to copy it as a as assist.py into the pi folder. Enter. And there it goes. So next, I need to enable it for booting up this assist service copy and I'm going to paste right here enter and next time I reboot it will it will it will be enabled so but now I have to start the service so I'm going to copy and paste let's start the service and here's another thing I like to do um, I like to do status just to see if it's actually working or not now you can tell if it's working if you see the light flashing on top of your AIY kit. Now I can't show you that in the video right now because we're in the middle of a screen record. So uh, here you see that it is running. It is actively running right now. And I'm going to close out of this. And I'm, I, let's just test it for a second. Okay, Google, what is two plus four? The answer is six. Okay, so let's now close out of this and let's do a reboot. And I'll be right back and hopefully this will work. And as you can see, my Raspberry Pi, my AIY project has rebooted. And let's see if it's working right now. I'll just say, okay, Google, tell me a joke. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. There we go, it is online. And if you do wanna check it on the terminal, you can do a system status. And sure enough, it is running. So now without having to run the command, it works. And that is this video. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you next time.